WFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrials finish up 213, NASDAQ up 114, SPs up 27. Gold, gold contract up $7.80, trading at 1947 an ounce. We had silver up four cents, $24.62 an ounce. Light sweet crude up 29 cents, $80.12 a barrel. Notes and bonds. The 10 year note up eight ticks, trading 109.22. The 30 year up 11 at 120.03 in King Dollar. King Dollar down 65 ticks, trading 104.011. The euro at 108, the yen at 146, the British pound at 126 to 1 US dollar. What do you have there, folks, is that you get a grind higher. You're coming into window dressing. You're coming into the holiday weekend. Bottom line, you know, we had, on Friday, you rejected lower price. I suspect the SPY, we're at 442, 446.27 is game. That's where it basically broke down. We go into the queues. You take a look at the queues. You get the same type of setup in the queues. You rejected lower price on Friday. You get higher price today. Huge contraction of volume, there's no doubt about that. That being said, though, guess what? You already rejected lower price, so the Qs were at 366.76, 373 is game. Now, what we very well might have here, which is pretty cool, you, it probably is gonna throw the whole thing into a consolidation. And that consolidation, you know, will be the lows of, uh, you know, last week and a half ago to the highs. And that's quite a consolidation. I mean, that, that's, that's a good size consolidation, you know, in the, in the context of consolidations. We get over and we take a look at the note and bond market. Note and bond market looks to me like they're off the lows, folks. And if that's who they, they are, you're gonna start seeing, a, you know, a lightening up uh, in the dollar, okay? And if we get the dollar basically going south, that is gonna release a huge amount of pressure not only in the broad market, but it's going to release pressure in the metals market. You know, if we take a look at this, the dollar has been trying to get over the swing point, and each and every time that it gets up there, it just can't handle it. And the swing point we're talking about, it just missed it last Friday, 104.699. We got to 104.447. You pull back slightly today, just deviant enough, only 52 ticks. And then, of course, gold, gold wants to get into the 2000 area. Have a great one, folks. Have a safe one. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 a.m. Great show, folks. Look at him, folks. Sharp.